tô ligando, é, com o meu... Não, Ai, já são 8 horas, né? Ah, é, não, 6 e meia, a hora que o sol levanta, já estamos já acordados, porque bate sol aqui no barco. This is beautiful. So we've just spent the night in the basin. Uh, it's a mess. It looks like we've moved in. But we've got some rigs set up for trolling. And we're headed to the Dry Tortugas. So follow along as we drive 75 miles dead west to the dry tortugas stay for a day or two as the weather allows and go from there follow along and wildlife for taking a uh, field trip they're seeing what uh, wildlife looks like but that is Fort Jefferson we got hey hey to the dinghy we are anchored up in the mooring field and prior to going ashore that wonderful that wonderful mangrove snapper you all saw me spear with the cool new spear gun has been turned into ceviche as we drove out here so some chips some ceviche might have an oreo or two and we'll go explore the island and the return has happened there is the perfect boat the third way out in the bay the reason I started a YouTube is regret for not filming this visit right here to Fort Jefferson, Dry Tortugas National Park. Came here two years ago on a sailboat trip, 22 foot Catalina that should have been filmed, but it's okay. This time we left the chum with a bottle of rum. I've got Michelle. She's a little camera shy, so she's just gonna say hey, and we're gonna get back to me. So, we're gonna walk around, and I'll show you some highlights. That moat's so cool. Hey.
What are you doing, Michelle? You want to show off your piece of fashion? <laughs> Look at her. She's wearing one of the Kentucky Fried Fishing shirts. Not available for sale yet. But you can look at them as they walk away from you. I love how they have the guide, the little soldier, telling you which way to go. This is so cool. What do you think? This is nice. You want a picture of it? Uh, I think I just... I always start at this uh, YouTube journey with the mindset that I'm just going to film what we're doing. Nothing's planned. I mean, trips are planned, but I'm just going to show you all what happens. So please, you know, take a moment to enjoy the surf coming in while Michelle and I enjoy just, you know, building what we have together. I, uh... This is kind of the calm before the storm, as you will see as this video progresses. But please just take moments in your life to celebrate what's important to you. As this moment, I just absolutely love watching over and over again. It's just, just her and I enjoying some time together as we build what we have together. So... I'm going to quit talking and rambling on. Enjoy the surf as the excitement is getting ready to unfold in a few minutes. So, also want to take the time to say thank you to anyone and everyone that subscribes and watches. I just hope I share and inspire you all to uh, do, what, do what makes you all smile and be happy. Because no one's ever going to wish they were tomorrow.
Bait fish. The water's dirty. The back country was dirty. Oh well. This is one of my coolest things. Coolest parts about this place is this moat walk. There you go, big fish. Bigger fish. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they're bonitas. Threadfin bonitas. Oh, and there's. Yeah. Bonitas. Oh. They're called threadfin bonitas. Or, uh, thread. Yeah. Ballyhoo. Sorry. Threadfin ballyhoo. Bait fish. I think. Hell from. If I'm wrong and you watch this, let me know. They look like bait fish. You see him? The Blue Angels just flew over the uh, dry tortugas. We can hear them. I'm hoping to get a good view of them again. I think they were on a severe training mission to see the dry tortugas as a, a team building exercise because they were in formation. So whatever CO cooked that one up, add a boy. We're proud of you. Tax dollars, hard at work there. Like he has, this is mouth. That's his claw. 
His mouth is hidden. Okay. Jump if you're oh yeah, he'll get out of the hill abandoned shell. There she is, amongst all the sailboaters, the perfect boat for the third. Might as well. Oh, well, Michelle and I got woken up to a rude awakening. We have water in the boat. I have a bilge pumping into a bilge, bilge out. We're in the middle of a squall in dry tortugas and we're against the beach with a couple other nice boats. So, we're riding it out. Um, aftermath to follow. So here's the aftermath. Water in the boat. Here's all of our stuff still here. Laundry's still hanging. But we are on the dry tortugas, not floating around. So the cleanup continues. I'm gonna try to get the anchor that didn't hold, which is now holding like a champ unstuck it's about midnight 11 o'clock so we're gonna keep keep at it till we're floating again so here's the update uh, officially three boat shipwrecked last night the perfect boat is not the perfect boat because it has a bilge on the starboard side that is high and dry so I'm not sure ahead of me since FWC was here and they just bounced. Thanks, guys. Is to take the oar and start digging her out and getting her back in the water. Never a dull moment on Kentucky Fried Fishing. Um, wow. So. Just absolute wow. All right, I'm gonna get digging. And an update. We got breakfast. We got some stuff out of the boat to get some weight. And the boat is rocking. So that's a good sign. We got about another 30 minutes of high tide. We got the National Park Service who have been above and beyond of saying hey and helping out. They've got a plan if it doesn't fall off itself. We are going to pull it by the bow hook, get her in some deep water, take her to the dock, check her out, and get back to Key West as fast as possible. Please and thank you. We are free. I am back at the helm. No harm, no foul, no more water coming in. They are still rescuing some boats. Goodbye, dry tortugas. It's the adventure I didn't want to have. Gonna be a rough one going home. Oh. And we made it back to Key West. It's been 65 miles. Five hours and 17 minutes because it was probably small craft advisory out there. The average 